So what is this for? Just for fun. How's it going, everybody? It's Tech on here again from Binge Meat. And I'm here to do another reaction video for you today, as we do. And today is a very, very special day. It's one of the most specialist kind of days, only simply because it's Jelly Roll, dude. Jelly Roll, you know, he's he's my brother from another mother. He's my brother from from wherever he's at, from wherever he's from, for whoever his mother is. He's still my brother. And uh, today is Jelly Roll. I need you. Now this came in from uh, Matthew Hoover. He said, "Please react to I Need You by Jelly." That's one of my absolute faves on his one of two glitter is number two. I don't, okay, subbed, thank you. I love watching people discover Jelly, Adam, Ryan, Struggle, etc. cetera. Uh, Creek Squad stand up. Okay, so I don't know what Creek Squad is, uh, <laughs> but hey, dude. Hey, Matthew, thank you so much for the comment. Keep the comments coming. If you, if you want us to react to something, put it in the comments. Just do it because we'll get to it. It just takes a little while. But today we're doing Jelly Roll. I need you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Another another by Jelly. What 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 could go wrong? You know what I'm saying? Father, forgive me. Hot piano. Hot piano. For I know I have sinned. Close my eyes and I pray cause I feel the skies falling on me. Feel the skies falling on me. And the walls caving in and I feel like I just cannot breathe. Like I just cannot breathe. And I feel like I may lose my mind. This is real life. Can anyone hear my cries? Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? I can't shake this depression and I'm always stressing and There it is. Will my problems finally fade? I need you. I keep rolling and smoking and blowing to deal with these problems. To deal with these problems. I keep drinking and popping these pills, but it never resolves them. It never resolves them. And I feel like, feel like it's my time. Dude, right there, that will, will you forgive me? That shit's fire, dude. And with whatever he did before, too, I hope he does it again because that shit was fire. Like, I haven't even paused yet. I feel like I should have paused already. Uh, just, it's a good video. And the only thing I don't like about the video is, is like that the fake ashes, fake fire ashes. Like, you can tell that they're fake, but that probably wasn't his call. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's nothing against him. It's just, uh, the video was fine without it. It's my time to blow. This is real life. I'm about to explode. Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? I can't shake this depression. And I'm always stressing and nobody feels me. Baby, I need you. Baby, I need you. Baby, I need you. Both arguments, what we agree to. If I fall out into space, Fire. will my problems finally fade? If I fall. The crazy part is that he looks so hard, dude. Like, he looks like one of the hardest dudes on the planet, but at the same time, like, he's out here... Mm -hmm. Shit, you know what I mean? Like, that's what that's probably one of my favorite biggest things about him that make me 
like him so much because he's being uh, authentic to who he is, not who he like. People might see him and be like, "Oh, that guy's probably hard as shit." Like that guy looks like he's, you know, been here, done that. And the thing is, he might have, but the thing is, it, it doesn't mean that he still doesn't have the side that he's like a softer dude. Like he's obviously has some feelings, and he puts some feelings out into the world, and, and then and shares it with us, and then all of a sudden. We get to hear it, and it comes in gold like this. So, it, he's just such a genuine kind of character. I, I just started following him on um, his channel on YouTube, and how he's like he's going through the stuff where he's talking about his struggle with weight loss, and he's on a weight loss challenge with himself. I mean, this guy he's really putting it out there. So, like, I mean, what can you not like about Jelly? Like, are some of are there parts of his music that you can tell that it's kind of still kind of homegrown, like? that he's not in these giant million dollar studios like yes but at the same time that's what gives you that sense of like you are actually getting who he is okay what i was saying was my okay my memory card got full oops my bad um uh, but it's just his genuineness in his music and you can just you can like i said you can tell that it's not some million dollar producer breathing down his neck to make sure everything's so cookie cutter, like he is who he is and he puts it out there like that. And that's my favorite part about Jelly. So just <laughs> even though my memory card went, but that's fine. Thank you guys so much for listening or watching. Binge me out. So what is this for? Just for fun.